What's up YouTube? Ask a Nerd TV here and today we're going to talk about how to fix your Apex Legends crashing in March 2020. Now, the way you're going to want to do this is you're actually going to have to downgrade your drivers if you're running an RTX 20 series Nvidia card. To check which version of drivers you're on, you can right click on the start button, you can left click on device manager, you can go over here and expand your display adapters, you're going to right click on your graphics card, you're going to left click on properties, and then you're going to left click on the driver tab. Now what you're looking for is the last numbers here, the first one being right in front of the period. And this tells you if you move the period two spaces to the right that I'm on 436.51. And as you can see, this driver date is from October the 1st, 2019. This is what I had to downgrade to in order to get stability in Apex Legends. The other way to find this is you can go to your NVIDIA icon at the bottom right. You can right click on it. You can left click on the GeForce experience. We're gonna go ahead and wait for that to load. Apparently, we're going to wait on it to update as well. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. You can left click on drivers, and if you scroll all the way down, you'll see right here currently installed GeForce Game Ready Driver version 436.51. After you've verified what version of the driver you're on, and if you're not on a newer version, then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to sign out. To sign out in Windows 10 version 1909, just right click on the start button. You'll see your shutdown or sign out. And then you can left click on sign out. And this will also take you to the lock screen where we'll be continuing from here. Before we get into that though, one of the applications you're going to want to use to do a factory clean uninstall of your NVIDIA drivers is called DDU. It stands for Display Driver Uninstaller. And to download this, you're going to go to wagnerdsoft.com. Now, I will include that link in the description below, so make sure you go ahead and check that. You want to get the latest version of DDU, which you can see right here, and it's version 18.0.2.2 as of this video. Go ahead and click on that. It's going to take you here. You're going to scroll down until you get to the click here for download and support. You're going to click on that link and then you're going to scroll down again until you get to the official download here link. You're going to go ahead and click on that. As you can see, you're going to go ahead and download it. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to open the seven zip file and you're going to choose where to extract it. Now, I always extract it to my desktop. So as you can see, there's a DDU folder here. Version 18.0.2.2 is already installed, so I am not going to extract this. But if you don't have this on your computer, you can go ahead and click OK at this point. And now we're going to go ahead and sign out and we're going to reboot into safe mode. Once you've logged out, you'll want to click on your screen until you get to the enter password part of the login screen. And then you're going to left click on the power button and you're going to hold down the left shift button while left clicking on restart. And you want to hold down the left shift button until you get to the next screen. Once you get to the next screen, You'll have several options, but you'll want to click on Troubleshoot. Then click Advanced Options. From here, you're going to click on Startup Settings. Then you're going to want to click the Restart Now button. Once your computer reboots, you'll come to the Startup Settings screen. On this screen, you'll want to hit the number 5 on your keyboard so you can enable safe mode with networking support. We're doing this because we're going to download drivers version 436.51 while we're in safe mode before we do a factory uninstall of our current drivers. And the link to 436.51 driver version will be in the description below. 
Now, I'm not actually going to reboot into safe mode, but what I am going to do is I'm going to show you where to download the drivers from and how to use the display driver uninstaller so that you can do a complete factory uninstall of your current drivers. First thing you're going to do is you're going to download the driver. We're looking for 436.51. You'll find this on guru3d.com. I'll have this link in the description below, so you can go ahead and click on that. Just scroll down to the bottom here, and you're going to see download locations, and you're going to see download Windows 10 64-bit desktop. You do not need the DCH version. So go ahead and click on that. As you can see here, your download will automatically start in five seconds. So we're going to wait, and you can see the download pop up at the bottom left. So once you're done downloading this, then the next thing that you want to do while you're in safe mode is you want to go ahead and open DDU. So to open DDU, you're going to browse to wherever you extracted it on your PC. For me, it's going to be on desktop, DDU, DDU v18.0.2.2, and then you're going to double click on display driver uninstaller.exe. Now, launch option is going to be normal. You shouldn't see this whenever you're in safe mode, but I'm just doing this just to show you what we're going to do from here. So first thing you want to do is you want to click on options. I want you to go ahead and mirror my settings, but the two that matter the most for one, the enable safe mode dialog, if you enable this and then you close and reopen, what's going to happen is the next time you reopen, it should ask you like that pop up you saw if you want to go into safe mode. You can change the drop down and then you can go into safe mode and I'll show you that after this. The next thing you want to do is you want to check the box prevent downloads of drivers from Windows update when Windows search for a driver or for a device. The reason you want to do this is because when you reboot after you run display driver uninstaller, it's going to automatically download drivers from Microsoft and you don't want it doing that because I've seen plenty of times where you install your video driver over that driver that's provided by Microsoft that you have all kinds of weird glitches and issues. You really want to avoid that. So I'm going to show you again that option so let's just say you just check those two boxes you clicked ok and you closed out of the application then you opened it again you'll get to this launch option and you're gonna go you're gonna choose safe mode with networking I'm not gonna click it here but you'll want to click reboot to safe mode once you've clicked reboot to safe mode and you've gotten into safe mode and you're now ready to factory uninstall your drivers you're gonna double click on display driver uninstaller once you've mirrored all my settings and you ensure everything's set up right, you're going to select the drop down box on the right and you're going to select GPU. Now it should automatically select your Nvidia, but if you did have an AMD installed before, you definitely want to make sure that that's removed as well. So since you have an Nvidia card, you're going to go ahead and you're going to leave this default GPU and Nvidia. And then I'm not going to do it now, but what you will do is you'll click clean and restart. Now, when you click clean and restart, you will see some stuff uh, populate here in the log and it will take a little bit, but then your computer should automatically reboot on its own. And after that, and after the reboot and everything, and you log back in, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to, you're going to go to your downloads. You're going to find the 436.51 and you're going to double click on it. Now, I'm not going to go through this, but if you've installed or updated any drivers before, you'll just choose the default. So this says, you know, where do you want me to extract this? See NVIDIA. That works for us. Again, I'm not going to install the drivers, but I am going to go through part of the steps so you can see it. This does take a while to load and install. So just remember to be patient. Once you get here, you're going to go ahead and click agree and continue. 
I always use the custom, but if you want, you can just use Express. It will choose all the default options, but let's just, you know, go through it like we're gonna do custom. Now you click custom. Uh, at this point, I would still check the box to perform a clean installation, and then I would scroll through here and make sure everything is checked that you need. Now, I'm not gonna click next because that will start the installation, but from here, you'll wanna click next. It should then install your drivers, and then afterwards, once it's completely done, it doesn't tell you to, but I highly recommend rebooting your computer. Once you've rebooted your computer and you log back in, you should be good to go to play Apex and you should no longer have any crashing. So once again, this is Ask a Nerd TV. Thanks for stopping by. I hope this helps you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And catch me Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Twitch. Thanks.